Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create a fetal gestational age calculator using a date picker and here in this calculator the user picks up the date of LMP which is first day of last menstrual period and once the user selects the date the user gets the gestational age of the baby as well as the expected date of delivery at 40 weeks. So let's start. Here I will be using a date picker dialog in this. Let's first create the view area. Here I will add a scroll view with padding 0 and inside this I will add a linear V with width match parent. Now for this linear V I will set background color as white. Now inside this I will add a linear edge and a text view. Now below this another linear edge, a text view and edit text and an image view. Below this I will add a text view, then a linear V and another linear V. And below this I will add a text view and an edit text and another text view or simply a text view and an edit text now I will go to image manager and select an image for calendar I hope this will be fine or yeah, this will be fine for a calendar so I will set this image as image of image view 1. Now in the first text I will write the heading fetal gestational age from LMP text size 20 textile bold. Now for this linear one I will set padding to 0 and in the end I will add another linear edge and a button. For this button I will set the text as reset and text size 18, text style bold, background color green. Now for this first text view this will be LMP the first day of last menstrual period is LMP next for this edit text I will set width as 80 sorry I will set width as 120 and text size 16 background color green for this image view 1 I will set height as match parent and scale type as fit xy now for this second text view I will set the text as gestational age On today's date so it will be gestational age text size 18 for this linear 5 which is a linear vertical inside this I will add an edit text inside linear 3 in, inside linear 5 and another edit text inside this linear 6. For both these linears I will set height as wrap content now below this edit text I will add text view in both these linears now for this linear I will set width as 80 and text size 16 background color green 
for this second linear also width 30 text size 16 and background color green for this text view I will write beaks text size 18 and for this second text view I will write text as days text size 18 now for text view 4 I will set text as EDD which is expected date of delivery text size 18 and same for this edit text I will set width as 120 and text size 16 background color green now for all these text views I will remove the hint for the first text view I will change the hint to click here I will indicate the user at yes to click on the image right beside this edit text plus I will disable this by switching off this enabled button now for this edit text also for edit text 3 I will set hint as nothing and I will disable this for edit text 4 also there will be no hint and it will be disabled and same for edit text 2 no hint and this also will be disabled now I will go to view manager and here I will select the keyboard state as hidden plus I will select screen orientation as both now here we can now move to logic area in logic area first I will create a new calendar component CAL and in on activity create I will be using a date picker dialog so for using date picker dialog I will copy code from my blog I will provide a link of this blog in description of this video so for creating a date picker dialog what we need to do is create a variable called date so here I will create a string variable called date and after this I will copy this code I will copy this complete code in this add source tagly block now since I will be using the calendar again here in this code inside public dialog on create dialog there is this final calendar c is equal to calendar dot get instance so since I will be using it again I will just cut this and paste it outside means at the top right after this closing curly bracket at the top I will paste this final calendar c is equal to calendar dot get instance and now as I have removed it from this public class date picker fragment I can remove final from here so this will look like calendar c is equal to calendar dot get instance now I will add another add source directly block and here I will cut this or remove this closing curly bracket at the end and instead I will put it inside this second add source directly block now I will create a new number variable called diff 
and another number variable called millisecond ms for millisecond and diff for difference and now in between these two add source directly block I will add another add source directly block and here I will set the date in the new calendar component which I have created the calendar component which I created is CL so for this CL I will set the year month and date so here I will write CL dot set calendar dot year calendar dot year comma now I will set the selected year as the year in this calendar here the here you can see in this code it is public wide on date set INT year INT month and INT day so I will be using these three I have already used year now in next line I will set month as M O N T H month and next I will set the day of month day underscore of underscore month day of month as day so this will set year month and date for this calendar cal there is another calendar C for which the year month and date is set as the today's date whereas this calendar CL is the selected date now I will get the difference between these two for getting the difference I will use another add source directly block and here I will use this number variable diff diff is equal to in bracket I will write long and again in the second bracket I will write C dot get time in millis in get time in milliseconds so here I will write get time in millis minus cal dot get time in millis this will get the difference between the two dates in milliseconds now after this I will use this block if else this closing curly bracket will remain at end now in this if else block I will use this operator if the number variable diff is less than 0 then toast a message that selected date is in future and set the text of edit text 2 3 and 4 edit text 2 edit text 3 and edit text 4 as nothing here you can see this is edit text 3 4 and this is edit text 2 now next if it is if the difference is positive if it is more than 0 then set this number variable millisecond to the number of milliseconds in a day which is 24 into 60 60 into 60 this is and multiplied by 1000 this will get the number of milliseconds in a day now next I will set the text of edit text 3 which is will be the number of weeks as to string without decimal 
the floor value of difference divided by number of milliseconds in a day into 7 means number of milliseconds in a week so here I will use this divide block and here I will use diff divided by milliseconds into 7 ms into 7 so this will get the number of weeks now next I have to write the number of days after removing all the weeks all the completed weeks so for edit text 4 I will set the text as to string without decimal and here I will use this percentage block and in this first the second one will be 7 means the remainder when divided by 7 of diff by milliseconds difference is the total number of milliseconds divided by number of milliseconds in a day this will get the total number of days and when divided by 7 it will get the remainder so that will be the text of edit text 4 now remaining is the text of edit text 2 for setting the text of edit text 2 I will first change the date of this calendar by using this block calendar cal add hours and here I will add the number of hours which are there in 40 weeks so that will be 40 now you can this calendar is displaying the LMP at present and now to get the EDD I will add 40 weeks to this calendar so for that I will add number of hours in 40 weeks by writing 40 into 7 this will be number of days and into 24 this will get number of hours in 40 weeks and now I will set this as text of edit text 2 by using this block edit text 2 set text calendar format dd mmm and yyyy that's all now in order to reset this I will when button 1 is clicked I will set the text of all the edit text to nothing and that's all now let's check this day of month there is one spelling mistake should be day of month Now here when I click on this image of calendar there's nothing so I actually have to show the calendar when this image view is clicked so here I will add this image view one on click event and in this I will use this block add source directly and inside this I will put this code show date picker dialog now it should work okay now when I click on this now suppose the LMP is 1 March then in that case the expected date of delivery will be 6 December gestational is today is two weeks and two days from one March it is two weeks and two days which is 16 days today is 17 so that's why it is displaying two weeks plus two days